Hi everyone, welcome back to Simple Innovation and welcome back to JavaScript based MQTT tutorial. In the previous video, we have created a connection between my MQTT broker, Mosca, to MySQL database. So now in this video, let's create a connection from our broker, MQTT broker, to MongoDB database. So here is my broker.js. I think I'll rename it to broker MySQL and i'll copy it uh, let's create the initial broker okay so without mysql package so i'll delete all the lay all the lines that connect to mysql database okay here and also here nice so this is our initial or essential mqt broker so let's create another file broker mongodb okay and first i'll create a database and also a collection on my mongodb database so i'll go to program files mongodb okay here is mongodb go to server version 4.0 folder pin copy it and open on my command prompt okay I'll open two command prompt. The first one is to activate uh, the MongoDB server and the second to work with MongoDB. Okay, let's go to MongoDB server pin folder and also MongoDB server pin folder. Activate uh, the MongoDB server by type execute mongod. Enter. Let's wait and voila, waiting for connection on port 27017. Then let's work with MongoDB by execute Mongo. Okay, nice. Let's create a database called MQTTJS, for example. Switch to DB MQTTJS and I'll create a collection here db.create collection. For example, I'll uh, I will be create a collection named MQTTJS. For example, okay, nice, just like that. Okay, now to connect my MQTT broker to MongoDB, uh, I need MongoDB package for Node.js application. So I'll install npm i MongoDB. So I'll use MongoDB. You can use another uh, package to connect to MongoDB such as Mongoose to connect your Node.js application to MongoDB. Install it and let's wait. After MongoDB installation is done, okay, let's uh, go to our broker MongoDBJS and let's get started to code. I'll insert MongoDB setting here. So I'll import first uh, MongoDB Mongo require MongoDB package and then I'll declare uh, the MongoDB client MongC MongoDB client must be Mongo client. Okay. After that, I have to declare the URL of my MongoDB server. It must be mongodb slash slash and localhost. Uh, oh, sorry. I think I have to insert the user. So I think I have to create user first here on my MongoDB database. So db.create user. User. For example, Lintang and the password PWD. For example, one two three four five and the roles. Roles. It must be uh, read and write and also DB admin like this. Okay. Okay, successfully added user, Lintang, and the password is 12345. Okay, go back to our Visual Studio code. And here, I'll input the user. 
and then the password at localhost 27017 slash the database name mqttjs nice mqttjs okay after that let's uh, connect directly the message after my broker get the message it will uh, post the data to mongodb database okay so here uh, i'll declare if the message okay, dot slice 0 0.1 doesn't equals to like this and also the message dot slice 0 4 doesn't equals to MQTT just make sure the message is pure message from our publisher so it will send the data to my mongodb database the client is mongc okay mongo client dot connect connect to mongodb url here the url uh, and then i'll insert uh, a function with two parameters error and also the client I'll declare my collection my collection it must be the client dot DB the database is MQTT JS and the collection dot collection the collection is MQTT JS also and then my call dot insert uh, I'll insert one data so I can use insert one like this insert one let's input the message just message like this okay now uh, I also have to declare an arrow function again here just to print or notify that the data is saved to mongodb data is saved to mongodb just something like that and i'll connect uh, i'll close the connection client dot close okay nice just simple like that okay let's try open uh, the terminal and execute again our broker our subscriber and our publisher then let's take a look on our mongodb database okay open terminal i'll split it into three parts again three section for my broker my subscriber and also my publisher split split okay nice CLS, CLS, CLS. Let's execute our broker, not broker, not uh, subscriber, and also not the publisher. Every five seconds, my publisher will send the data to my broker. Okay, hello world. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think the file uh, my broker file is broker mongodb.js right not broker so i just note broker mongodb like this and then execute again my subscriber note sub and execute again my publisher note pub and wait every five seconds it will send the data okay whoa what is this okay data is saved to mongodb nice hello world data is saved to mongodb okay i think it's success to send the data to mongodb let's try to go to mongodb and then let's try db.mqttjs.find uh, nice this is data from my publisher okay right db.pretty okay so it works 
we have connected uh, our MQTT broker Mosca to our MongoDB database. Thanks for watching. For full tutorial, you can check on my GitHub repo. You can clone and use your own MQTT broker and your MongoDB also MySQL database to save data from publisher. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and see you in the next simple project by Simply Innovation. Bye-bye.